Effects of Smoking Women's Health Smoking is detrimental to all humans, but there are particular concerns for women who smoke. Aside from the health conditions all smokers contend with, smoking may increase the risk for women to develop certain cancers of the gynecological tract, osteoporosis, and other chronic or life-threatening health conditions. We all have heard the warnings about smoking, especially that cigarettes can cause cancer and increase our risk of heart disease, but women smokers face unique challenges. The sad fact is that approximately 23 million women in the U.S. still smoke cigarettes. Smoking is the most preventable cause of death in this country, yet more than 140,000 women die each year from smoking-related causes. The highest rate of smoking occurs among women between 25 and 44. Despite all the warnings today's teens have heard about the dangers of smoking, the reality is that almost all of the new smokers today are teenagers, over 1.5 million teenage girls smoke cigarettes. Women smokers suffer all the consequences of smoking that men do such as increased risk of various cancers lung, mouth, larynx, pharynx, esophagus, kidney, pancreas, kidney and bladder and respiratory diseases. But as women we need explicit cognizance about the numerous smoking-related health risks which are uniquely ours. Oral contraceptives and smoking. Do you use oral contraceptives or another hormonal method of birth control? Women smokers who use oral contraceptives risk serious consequences including increased risk of developing cardiovascular diseases such as blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. This risk increases with age and women over 35 who smoke should not use oral contraceptives. Historically, a mild elevation in blood pressure often occurred in pill users. However, blood pressure often returned to normal pre pill levels once oral contraceptives were discontinued. New studies indicate that high blood pressure is not a common problem for today's pill users, nonetheless all women using oral contraceptives should have their blood pressure checked every 6 to 12 months. Pregnancy and Smoking Chemicals in tobacco are passed from pregnant mothers through the bloodstream to the fetus. These toxic chemicals present serious risks to the unborn child as well as the mother. According to Our Bodies, Ourselves for the New Century, by the Boston Women's Health Book Collective Smoking during pregnancy is associated with preterm delivery, low birth weight, premature rupture of membranes, placenta previa, miscarriage and neonatal death. Newborns whose mothers smoke during pregnancy have the same nicotine levels in their bloodstreams as adults who smoke and they go through withdrawal during their first days of life. Children born to mothers who smoke experience more colds, earaches, respiratory problems, and illnesses requiring visits to the pediatrician than children born to non-smokers. Infertility and smoking. Is a baby part of your future plans? Many women today delay childbirth until they are in their 30s or even 40s, which can cause fertility problems even for non-smoking women. But women who smoke and delay childbirth are putting themselves at a substantially greater risk of future infertility than non-smokers. The fact is women smokers have around 72% of the fertility of non-smokers. When all other factors are equal, it is 3.4 times more likely that smokers will require over one year to conceive. Increasingly, Studies are showing that decreased ovulatory response as well as the fertilization and implantation of the zygote may be impaired in women who smoke. Chemicals in tobacco may also alter the cervical fluid, making it toxic to sperm causing pregnancy to be difficult to achieve. We can't leave the men out on this one, though. Men smokers are 50% more likely to become impotent. Some of the toxic chemicals found in cigarettes may result in gene mutations that can cause miscarriage, birth defects, cancer and other health problems in their children. 
Pelvic inflammatory disease and smoking. Pelvic inflammatory disease occurs with 33% more frequency in smokers than in non-smokers. PID is a painful disease that requires immediate medical intervention and is often a contributing factor in ectopic pregnancies as well as pelvic adhesions and other fertility problems. Premature menopause, menstruation, and smoking Beginning to smoke as a teenager increases a woman's risk of early menopause three times. Smokers often notice symptoms of menopause two to three years earlier than non-smokers. Menstrual problems such as abnormal bleeding, amenorrhea and vaginal discharges, infections are common complaints among women who smoke. Menstrual abnormalities and early menopause may be caused by a toxic effect on the ovaries or by the significantly lower levels of estrogens noted in many studies of women smokers. Hormones and smoking. Estrogen replacement therapy provides beneficial protection to postmenopausal women against the risk of osteoporosis. But these benefits are many times negated by the increased cardiovascular and other health risks associated with smoking while taking hormones. Women who smoke face a serious increased risk of developing cardiovascular diseases such as heart attack and stroke when using estrogens. This risk should be discussed with your physician before beginning hormone replacement therapy, if you are a smoker. Your doctor will assist you if you choose to quit smoking. Osteoporosis and smoking. Osteoporosis affects most of us if we live long enough. But there are certain things we can do to reduce our risk of osteoporosis such as participating in regular physical activity and making sure we are getting 1000 mg to 1500 mg of calcium daily. Smoking causes a significant increase in the risk of bone loss and osteoporosis. Women who smoke, one pack of cigarettes a day often experience a loss of bone density equaling 5 to 10 percent more than non-smokers by the time they reach menopause. Bone density scanning to determine the density of your bone structure is recommended for all women beginning at age 40. Bone density scanning is particularly crucial for women smokers so that changes can be noted and treatment can ensue if osteoporosis is noted. Heart disease and smoking. Approximately 34,000 deaths in women from ischemic heart disease are attributed to smoking each year. Although most of these deaths are in women past menopause, the risk of smoking-related heart disease is significantly higher in young women smokers. Researchers in Denmark have found a 50% greater risk of heart attack in women smokers over men smokers. This difference may be due to the interaction of estrogen with the chemicals found in cigarettes. Cervical cancer and smoking. All women should have regular pelvic exams that include pap smears and for women who smoke the necessity is even greater. Studies show that smoking may lead to the development of cervical cancer. One study found an 80% greater risk of developing cervical cancer in smokers. Cervical cancer patients who quit smoking or who cut down by at least 75% may have a greater chance of remission and survival than patients who continue smoking. Chemicals found in cervical tissue that are also found in cigarettes may weaken the ability of cervical cells to fight off infection and they may create a potential breeding ground for abnormal cervical cells to multiply. Breast Cancer and Smoking the American Cancer Society published the results of a study in 1994 which indicated that breast cancer patients who smoke may increase their risk of dying at least 25% a risk that increases with the number of cigarettes smoked per day. The possible risk of fatal breast cancer rises up to 75% for women who smoke two packs or more per day. The good news is that if you quit now your potential risk of dying as a result of future breast cancer remains the same as for a non-smoker. Vulva Cancer and Smoking 
Another type of cancer which may occur more frequently in smokers is vulvar cancer. Smokers experience a 40% higher risk of developing this devastating type of gynecological cancer. Smoking also causes the following health problems for women who smoke. Decreased bone density. Women who have gone through menopause and who smoke have lower bone density. This means they have a higher chance of breaking a hip than women who do not smoke. Rheumatoid arthritis. Women who smoke are more likely to get rheumatoid arthritis. RA is an inflammatory, chronic disease. People with RA have swelling and pain in their joints. Cataracts. Women who smoke are more likely to get cataracts that affect their vision. Cataracts are an eye disease where the lens of the eye is cloudy or foggy. Gum disease. Smoking is linked to gum disease, which may lead to bone and tooth loss. Ulcers. Smokers with gum disease are also more likely to get ulcers in the stomach, which can lead to death. Surgery. Smokers have worse survival rates after surgery. They're also more likely to have complications and poorer wound healing than non-smokers. Depression. It is important for women to know about the link between smoking and depression because women are more likely than men to be diagnosed with depression. Menstrual problems. Some studies show that women who smoke have more irregular or painful periods. Menopause. Smokers are more likely than non-smokers to go through menopause at a younger age, and they may have worse symptoms of menopause. Pregnancy. Women who smoke may also have a harder time getting pregnant. They also have a higher chance of losing their baby before it is born. Studies show there is an increased risk of SIDS in babies born to women smokers. Breathing. Teen girls who smoke have lungs that don't grow as much as non-smokers' lungs, and adult women who smoke have lungs that don't work as well as non-smokers' lungs. According to the Surgeon General, smoking will kill over 400,000 people in America every year. Worldwide, smoking-related deaths are set to reach over 1 million people in 2015. Many of these deaths will be women. Over 80% of lung cancers in women are caused directly by smoking, and many of the others are due to exposure to second-hand smoke. Heart disease, the number on killer of women, is also heavily linked to smoking. Additional lung diseases, cancers, stroke, and COPD-emphysema are also caused by smoking tobacco products.